Hello everyone and welcome back. We're back tonight with more of The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky second chapter. Uh, last time we began our infiltration of Genus Academy where a bunch of uh, I think it was where, where the Jaegers uh, invaded and just a sec. Okay, sorry about that. And Joshua had to stake out the place first. But now he's done that and gotten all the information we need, so... Uh, we are good. So, we are... And we now have a team of Estelle, Joshua, Annalise, and... Kurt, is that his name? Uh, to do the infiltration. So, let's go ahead and begin. Headphones. I don't know why I turned it down. Alright, here we go. Now, let's see. Where are we supposed to be going? We're going in. Is this where we're supposed to be going? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, okay. Joshua for
Okay, I'm back. I just don't want to check something real quick. So just give me a moment. Alright, let's continue. I better heal up Kirk real quick. There we go. Alright. Sweet adios! It's Estella and Joshua! Hi guys! Let me explain what's happening. Joshua explained the plan to free the captives. Oh, okay. Oh man, bracers are so cool. Uh, thanks, I guess. But more importantly, is Mr. Parks okay? I'd heard he was shot. We think so. The wound itself doesn't look too bad. He just fell asleep after we treated. He said it was already wiped out for the new semester and all, so... <sighs> Thank Adios. So his pale complexion is just from exhaustion. Hmm. May I see him for a moment? By my arts, be calm as ocean waves. Whoa! That never stops being impressive. <laughs> Kurt saved my butt with that plenty of times. I'll be. He looks better than he did a second ago. Uh, just a minute. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Anyway, let's let him sleep for now. Thank you so much for coming to save us. Can we do anything to help? The best thing you can do is stay here until it's safe. It's still very dangerous outside. I understand. Be careful out there. Estelle, check the names of Rody, Roy, and Janitor Parks off the list. Eh, I've still got quite a few to go, though. <laughs> So this could take a while. Let's see if there's anyone in here. Nope. What about upstairs? Okay, so that's everyone in this building, I guess. Okay, where to next? All right, let's go this way. Darn it. Didn't catch him off guard. <laughs> I'll be right back again, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Maybe I'm good for now. Welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Uh, let's see. I'm just going to go in this building next. Who the hell are you? What are you doing out here? <laughs> that is to so totally our line. You think creepo guys like you get to hang out in a girl's dorm? Wait, what? This is the realm of maidens whose chastity and cuteness would shame flowers. 
You could at least, like, put a ribbon or something on first, you know. Stop screwing with us! Why'd you even make me think that? Kind of brought it on yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's... Here, we got five enemies this time. Overleveled and wishing I didn't look at my YouTube feed. Overleveled on what? On Nino Kuni? And what happened on your YouTube feed? <laughs> Yep, Nino Kuni. Oh, okay. But yeah, what happened on your YouTube feed, Dragoon? Okay, need to heal Estelle when I get a chance. And then get KO'd first. I found a video where they're talking about the story about a guy who tried to fight off 12 people while... No, oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, 12 cops. Oh, okay. But yeah, I gotcha. So I looked up a different source. Apparently the guy was on meth and 15 cops were trying to wrestle. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, just a moment.
Okay, sorry about that. The uh, cord on my headphone got all tangled up in my controller's cord. Somehow. <laughs> Don't know how. So, how's your day been? Besides the obvious. <laughs> hope, you d hope you didn't hurt yourself too much taking care of the snow. Uh, let's... That was bizarre. Yeah, bet, bet. Hello, Reen. How you doing tonight? Oh, wait. I need to cure Kurt. <laughs> it's decent. My dad ended up snow blowing it all. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Because I know you probably worked in the best shape to... To do that, you take care of that yourself. <laughs> so, how are you doing tonight, Reed? What was bizarre reading the story I mentioned? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bizarre. Whichever one ended up being true. Whether it was 12 or 15. Was it Estelle? Did you hear the news about Trails of Reverie? Yeah, comes out... Was it June or July? I didn't watch the trailer because I didn't want to risk any spoilers for any of the other games I haven't played, but... Yeah, I saw the news about the release date. <laughs> July 7th, okay. I found the source, okay. Okay. Just the way it's worded in that link is weird. <laughs> yeah, a bunch are all saying 15 pop showed up. Ah, okay. And there's another game, there's another Trails game coming out next year before that, right, Reen? Between, tra between Trails of Reverie and Trails of Ze from Zero. <laughs> You're Estelle, Joshua? <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's what's going on. Trails of Azure out marks. That's what I thought. I just couldn't remember... I just couldn't remember for sure. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get that day one, but I still got play through Trails from Zero anyway, so it's probably not a big deal. <laughs> uh, Joshua explained the plan to free the captives. Oh, I see. Phew, I think my nerves are all shot. So, um, what should we do? Should we try to find the others? No way, not yet. They're still fighting outside and you could get hurt. Please, stay here for now and bar the door. We'll let you know when it's safe. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. Good luck. Estelle, check the names of Nikita, Felicity, and Taylor off the list. I feel like with all the people I gotta find, just this one quest could take the rest of the night. We'll see what happens. Okay, next I'll check that building over there. After I take out this per this enemy. <laughs> oh, I need to heal. I need to heal Adelaide. <laughs> Adel Adelaide. 
you know who she is. Yeah, Annalise. Okay, yeah, it was Estelle that leveled up. <laughs> Since she got her EP back. looking to play all these games at this point. I know you said play Trails from Zero before Cold Steel 3, but what uh, what else beyond that? Ah, shoot. Didn't think of that. Not done yet. Okay, looks like there's no one in here to rescue. <laughs> Didn't mean to leave that way, though. I meant to go through here. Son of a... Bracers, here? Come on! Attack!
Okay, everyone's at max CP now, so that's good. We're good to go! Our legendary heroes! Hey, was wondering if you'd forgotten about us. Haha, <laughs> sorry to keep you waiting. Has the situation here changed at all since I came by? <laughs> yeah, actually. That Gilbert Bozo just came by, demanded to know if the princess was here. Said she'd received special treatment and she made herself. Urge to kill, rising. What a wild goose chase. Yeah, we told him to go stuff himself. He looked pretty desperate, though. I don't know what he'll do if he really loses it. Don't worry, we can handle it. Hey! So, um, what should we do? Oh, right, sorry. Uh, could you guys stay in here until it's safe? Our friends are still fighting the Jaeger goons outside. Alright, we will. When will this end? It's a little nerve wracking, but we'll wait. We'll try to settle things as fast as we can. Hans, Jill. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Good shot at isn't really my thing, anyway. We'll leave it to you guys. Come back here once you take care of them. We'll handle everything else. Thank you. See you soon! Estelle checked the names of Jill, Hans, Caden, Alice, and Purity off the list. Okay. Still got quite a few to go, but we've made more progress than I expected. Alright, let's go. Probably still got some searching in this building. For more students, maybe. <laughs> or more hostages, rather. Here, oh, okay. Aw. Oh. Everyone! Good afternoon! Someone order a rescue? We're glad you're safe, sir. Estelle, Joshua, to have you come. Uh, those are your fellow bracers behind you, I take it. We are. I am Kurt Nardi. And I'm Adelaide Selfie. Nice to meet ya. The team explained their plan to free the Academy. I see. Thank you. You are aware of who commands these men, yes? <laughs> Gilbert, Dalmore's old steward, right? I heard he was trying to kidnap Chloe. Yes, he does not seem to know that Chloe is the princess, however. He only knows that the princess can be found at the academy. I see. Sort of weird, though, given that the masked pervert knew exactly who she was. The Jaegers the society utilizes don't have nearly as much access to information as the forces do, for security purposes. I doubt he's been told anything that wasn't strictly critical to their mission. Ah, uh, good point. That's kind of bad news, though, isn't it? If he's really that clueless, he might try and snatch some other girl. A distinct possibility. I am also worried about that. Please hurry and stop him before he does something terribly foolish. We will! Estelle checked the names of Dean Collins and Fauna off the list.
Was that the whole building? Uh, oh no, it wasn't. Damn, is that gunfire still going? Sounds like it. Doesn't look like they broke it through the gate yet. That'd be because that's a diversion. What? Intruders! What the hell? What are they doing here? Elementary, my dear Jaegers. We're here because we're bracers. I'm uh, not sure that's really much of an answer. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about it, Joshua. Okay, let's give this a try. Nope, that's not gonna work. Estelle. Come on! You two have one job. Uh.
Okay, let's... Alright, we'll start in here. You guys! Estelle and Joshua? Haha, <laughs> hi guys! Long time no see. Where the heck are you guys here? Wait, you aren't with those guys, are you? Oh, come on, Logic. How does that make any sense? I bet the Bracers are here to rescue us. Uh, that was a guy. My bad. Exactly. Estelle explained the group's plan and how they're freeing people. Uh, okay, sorry I rushed the conclusions there. So, you guys, what do we do? Until we are sure the grounds are secure, you should remain here. It's possible you could be injured if you wander outside in the middle of combat. B -b but if we stay here, they'll come back and capture us again. Hmm, I guess it's possible, but leaving is still more dangerous. You don't want to get shot by a stray round or non bound by a beast, do you? Um, um. Hanalees, Hanalees, don't scare them more than they already are. Anyway, that's the idea. Will you stay here for now? Yes, we'll keep our heads down. Good luck, you guys! Estelle checked the names of Logic, Argyle, Monica, and Thelma off the list. Okay, how many are left? Uh, this looks like there's... Wait. Four. Looks like there's still ten left. Let's see if any of them are in here. Okay. It's you guys! Hey everyone, are you okay? Is anyone... No, no one looks injured. Good. Estelle and... Estelle and Joshua? Why are you two here? You know, funny story. Estelle explained events up to now and the plan of attack. So that's what all the noise is. Uh, I guess I owe Mickey a royal crepe or something. Huh, all he did was ditch class and then get lucky enough to run off. About all slackers are good for. Not now, Dennis. In this case, his actions were appropriate and life-saving. Thanks to him, everyone knew to come and save us. Contempt for your savior only makes you look like a churl, Dennis. Whatever a churl is. Ugh. Uh, guys, I don't know if this is the time. Anyway, we'd like for you to remain here while we're certain it's, until we're certain it's safe. Can you stay put? Well, I... I understand. Alright. Please, make sure everyone is safe. Leave it to us! Estelle took the names of Jerome, Patrick, Dennis, and Reyna off the list. Okay, now we have six left. And looks like we're done in this building, so let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Yeah! You son of. There they are! Here we go!
Green, are you still there? Kurt levels up soon so he can restore his EP. Yet. 
on a laser and chain three. It can't be! Stella Joshua, what on earth are. Haha, <laughs> sorry to surprise you. Actually, Joshua explained the plan to free the captives. I see, so you're. Thank you so much for coming to free us. So how are things outside? Is there still fighting? There's fighting at the gra gate and Jaeger is still on the grounds. The situation is dangerous. I must ask that you remain here for your own safety until we've secured the school. I see. If we must. I Please, I beg you. Make sure the students stay safe for us. Oh, I know. Please take these. Received Mighty Essence times four. Miss Debra. Whoa, are you sure? It's thanks for rescuing us. Now, be a hero. being a hero is nice, but take care of you two. Thank you. We'll be safe. Estelle checked the names of Debra, Miss Wyola, and Miss Melia off the list. So now we have three people left. Alright. And let's see if they're in this other room. Nope. Oh, okay. Here's two of them. Alright. There's still one missing then. Who are... Estelle and Joshua! Haha! <laughs> That's us! Hiya! You're all safe. Thank goodness. Estelle explained the plan to free the captives. Now I see. Thank you for your assistance. Is there anything we can do to help you rescue the students? We appreciate the thought, but the enemy is a professional mercenary company. The best thing to do is remain here until you're certain it is safe. Uh, I see. You're right. Please take care of the students. Le leave it to us. Estelle checked the names of Mr. Ratio and Mr. Effort off the list. Okay. Well, we only have one. We only have one more person to find now. No! That voice! It's that way, behind the academy. There's one person left on the list. It must be her. Let's hurry! Uh, back here? Do I need to go back here? Oh, okay. Exactly who I thought it was. Gilbert! That's close enough, everyone. Unless you'd like to see this young lady get hurt. N no! Oh no! Isn't that Chloe's friend? The fencing club member, yes. You damnable wretches seem obsessed with getting in my way. This time, I will come out ahead. I will climb the ranks of Ouroboros if this girl is my ladder. What? The society of Ouroboros has far larger than I'd ever imagined. And everything happening here in Libero is but the tip of the iceberg. Our plans extend across the continent, across the centuries, across everything. <laughs> it is the perfect path to power, and the girl is all I need. So that's your plan. So you screw up in Libero and decide to go down... The criminal organization's dream instead? Gotcha. Great career advancement there, champ. Silence! A tiny little backwater like Libero will all was always too small for me. The society, in all its glory, meanwhile, is a fitting stage for me to stand on. And you will not get in my way! Well, I'd like to say good luck with that. But you realize that girl won't get you anywhere, right? <laughs> poor ignorant fool. This girl is, in fact, the princess of the Von Alvis family in hiding. No, I'm telling you, it isn't me! Please, the charade fools no one at this point. 
witnesses say Claudia Von Alice favors rapiers in combat. And right now, you're the only female student in the fencing club. It cannot be anyone but you! But, but, but! You know, it's sad. I don't know how to break it to him. He's like a monument to boneheaded assumptions. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay then, from the top. You wouldn't happen to remember when you got captured to the lighthouse, would you? How could I ever forget? Just remembering it makes my guts boil with rage, the humiliation, the indignity! Then you do remember the girl who was accompanying us, right? It seemed like you knew her. Uh, yes, I remember her. Chloe Renz, as I recall. That's a good point. I didn't see her among the captured students. Uh... What?! Bingo! Remember how Chloe used a fencing sword at the lighthouse? Not that you... No! No! That blatant hot orphan lover! That's ridiculous! Absurd! Everything I've done can't have been a waste! And now he's fleeing from reality. That's unhealthy, dude. Tragic. So silence! Yes, I have a hostage here regardless. I still have the advantage. If you don't want to see your guts covering the floor, throw down your weapons. Ah! His face becomes more kickable by the second. We need some kind of opening. Ha! Huh, paralyzed with indecision, are we? Perhaps slicing open her face a little will make you pay attention. Yeah! Rochelle, over here! Oh, okay! W w what? See, what are you doing here? Chloe said she didn't she? Haha, <laughs> how thoughtful. That is the coolest bird! No. No, this can't be! This is madness! Madness? Perhaps it is. Either way... Time for ultra violence. Alright. Uh, would have been nice to get Kurt's EP back up before that, but... I guess I could have Joshua take care of that. Actually, no, I'll let him go ahead and attack. How uh, much HP are we talking about on Gilbert? Uh, I guess I probably should try to get rid of the robots first. Wow, I totally gave Gilbert the wrong voice. Am I supposed to take him seriously with that voice? Seriously. Well, that means free seventh for me, so I can't complain. Oh man, I 
I mean, I'm sorry Joshua's task got decreased, but still. Oh, gosh. I guess I should still take him a little seriously. Let's see here. Um, let's try this. Ah, dang it. Alright, fine. the pain. Louise, I beg you, spare my miserable life. Oh, for the love of... Why do you have to be such a coward now? <laughs> it sort of feels like we're bullying him at this point. His choices led him to this end. Gilbert, in accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are... That won't do. Arresting him would be a problem. Oh, okay. You! The one who showed up at the mine! Campanella. <laughs> good day. I've been watching ever since you entered the academy. Oh, what a show, what a show. It was a delight to watch. I didn't think there would be a last second addition to the cast either. And such timing! Sir Campanella, have you come to save me? You know, Gilbert. I don't seem to remember ordering you to capture anyone. I mean, of course you have to take advantage of opportunities as they come. If you're on the ground, you have to make the call, as they say. I won't stop you from doing that. But if you fail, there really isn't much of a point, was- There really wasn't much of a point, was there? No, please! Ah! What the hell? The flame tongue attack illusion. Just like what Luciola uses. 
<laughs> mind, uh, mind, I'm not nearly as good as she is. I can still roast a bad steak, though. Ah! I did enjoy watching Gilbert make such a fool of himself. I suppose I can leave off the punishment for that. This time. Ugh. Wait a second! You're running again? <laughs> well, anyway, let me apologize for all this. You have my word that the society of Ouroboros will not lay another finger on this academy. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, good day and farewell. Oh, he did take Gilbert with him. Okay. Again with the running. Are we ever gonna nail him down? Campanella the Fool. Quite the enigma. That's barely half of it. I do think we can take his word on this, however. One can hope. Well, well, well I am kind of sad he got away. I guess that pretty much settled things here, huh? Pretty much. And so the occupation of Jenna's Royal Academy came to an end. By the time the Royal Arm Army Detachment arrived, the Jaegers at the Academy had retreated. And thanks to the Dean and Jill's group, the students had calmed down. Kurt, Annalise, everyone, thank you so much for helping us out here. Aw, oh, come on, don't be so stuffy. Indeed, it was part of the duty we share as bracers. As far as I'm concerned, we were just playing you back for the save in that lab. If anything comes up, we'll be glad to help again. We'll be counting on it. Whatever you plan on going after this. We're heading to Bose to the Chrome Pass. We intend to patrol the pass to help ensure something like this doesn't happen again. A good idea. Um, please be careful. Haha, <laughs> you too. As long as this mess keeps up, all we can do is pound the ground and try to keep people safe. Darn straight. Yeah. Hey, Estelle? Hmm? I kind of noticed something we were fighting together. The way you used to hesitate when you attacked, it's like totally gone. You're so much- you're so more at ease now. I know that's sort of out of the blue, but it kind of blew me away how much better you've gotten. Uh, hey, come on, knock off the flattery. Besides, it's not like you aren't loads better too, Annalise. Well, yeah, I've been up to my ears in fights lately. I don't just mean that, though. It's like you've gotten stronger somewhere deep inside. I gotta think it's because you found that path you were looking for in your journey to find Joshua. You've really become strong. I'm a lace. <laughs> just means I better step up my game as your rival, huh? If we get the chance, let's fight together again, okay? Next time, it'll be my turn to surprise you. <laughs> yeah, bring it on! Following that, Agat and Zen returned to the Ruan Guildhouse. Sieg, who came from Grandsel, flew back to Chloe. Estelle's group said their farewells to everyone at the Academy and departed. Quest, the occupation of Jenna's completed. Okay, uh... We still need to go to the orphanage, is that correct? Which is... Yeah, there it is. It's It was the opposite direction of here. So yeah, I think that we, we still have that to take care of. Uh, but let's go back to Ruan to rest up first, probably. Uh, let's see.
Okay, time to head back to... Uh, I guess I could go on to the... Uh, I don't know, Chad, you think I should go back to Ruan first or to or head straight to the orphanage? Actually, which town have I not which towns have I not been to? Hang on a minute. Uh okay, I've been to Ruan, been to Bose. Okay, Zaius is where I need to go next. Uh which way to Zaius? Okay, um, yeah, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and head out to the orphanage first, and then I'll go back to Ruan. I am going to go ahead and save here, though, since we finished this up. Now, let's see, uh, I need to go, okay, I need to head west to... To get to to the orphanage. <laughs> FF12 half off on Steam right now. I already have it on the Switch, but thank you, Reen. And yeah, that is another game that I do need to play at some point. Come on, Tita. those panda enemies before? I don't remember seeing them. <laughs> so if someone, if someone in chat remembers if I have or not, let me know, because like I said, I don't remember seeing that before. It's still gonna be sad when I have to give up. I thought everyone was gonna lose their 
zero field generators when this is over, but there's only one left to place, and uh, Tita still has hers. We'll still have hers. Unless there's a place I'm forgetting that I have to take one. I don't think there is, though. Let me, let me bring up the thing again. Uh, Chloe's group will deliver one to the Capital Branch. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Rose, Ruan, and Roland already have theirs. So, yeah, I just have one left. Okay, well, that's nice. It means, like I said, it means Tita won't have to give up hers. Three are on sale on Switch. Okay, I'll take a look at that. Thanks for letting me know, Reen. I can maybe at least get one of them, depending on the price. Although I know those don't go for a lot, I don't think. Like I said, I'll look and see what I can do. That's that. attack anyway because his CP is already maxed <laughs> DQ3 which is the priciest is eight dollars right now okay that sounds promising I'll try to look at it after the stream Although I don't want it to come out of the funds I've added to get Fire Emblem engaged, so it so that could affect it too. If I can use if I can just use my own money to buy it, then that's then that'll help. <laughs> so like I said, we'll see. Okay, uh, let's see which way to the orphanage. Okay, this way. Valkyrie Profile Linus out Thursday. Yeah, I know I'm not going to be able to get that right away. <laughs> okay, I do need to go down on the beach. 
each year. told us to protect this spot. If the worst happens, we're to take the women and children and evac them to this patrol ship. Man, I hope things don't get that bad. Man, chopping wood's pretty hard. But if I don't do it, Matron Teresa's gonna have it even harder. Hey, Clem. Seems like you're doing well. It's been a while, Clem. I heard from Estelle that you've been working hard to help out. Of course. I'm not slacking off on weeding or taking care of the chickens or anything. I gotta work hard for everyone. Yeah, good thinking. I know there's a lot that's tough right now. But help out everyone you can, okay? We're doing our best to help out too. Haha, <laughs> got it. I'll do my best to help as much as you. Hi, Polly. Long time no see. Whoa, it's Joshua! You seem kind of different. Different, but you still look cool, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ah! Um, is... is it you, Joshua? Yeah, it's been a while, Mary. Did I surprise you? I know I'm dressed a bit differently. No, not at all. Your clothes are, um, really cool. <laughs> thanks. If you're looking for Major Teresa, she's inside. You should say hi. <laughs> I'm sure she'd be happy if you did. Still got one more kid to find, though. Unless he's inside. Uh, I guess he is. Let's go in then. Okay, yep, here he is. Whoa, it's Joshua! Hi, Daniel. It's been a while. Have you been a good boy? Yeah, I decided to help Major Teresa, just like Clem. Today I watered the plants. I see. Good job, Daniel. Hehehe! <laughs> Estelle and... And Joshua, welcome. Major Teresa, I'm very sorry to have worried you. Joshua, please stay with Estelle from now on. That is all I would ask of you. I will. Thank you, Major Teresa. <laughs> I see now that there was no need to worry. I'm sure Chloe's very relieved. That reminds me, Major Teresa, about Chloe. Yes, I hear she's in the capital. A Sieg delivered a letter from her to me. <laughs> I see. That's Sieg for you. Based on her letter, she's having plenty of trouble on her side, too. From the content, I could feel a very deci decisive will to face some kind of problem directly. I don't know what kind of decision that represents, but I'm confident that girl will find her own path. Ah. Yeah, I think so, too. Based on her letter, she's... Uh... Okay, is that all I was supposed to do here? I thought this was where I was supposed to go. Did I make a mistake somewhere, Reen? Because I was pretty sure the orphanage was where I was supposed to go.
I'll make sure I didn't miss any side quest. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let me bring up the game. Uh, okay, I finished Rescue the Miners. I finished the Occupation of Genis. There's a quest called there's a quest called Hot Spring Restoration. So let me see where I have to go for that. Uh, right now the Hot Springs at... Uh, the quest available after Vayne... Okay, I can't do that right this moment, so I'm not going to worry about it. I can do it after I see the Zayas Bracer Guild, so I'm good for now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here, so if there's anything you need to do, now's a good time, and I'll be back as soon as I can. So, see you in a little bit.
Yep, I'm back. And welcome to the stream, Ossie and Soup. Haven't seen you in a while, Ossie. How have you been? And how are you doing tonight, Soup? Okay, let's see. I need to go... I need to go to... Still in one piece? Uh, good to hear. Let's see. I need to go to Zayas, and that's a pretty good walk. <laughs> So, we'll start by heading back to Ruan. But yeah, as I said, Ashi, yeah, I'm not going to be able to pick up that game day one, most likely. <laughs> Got plenty of games to play for now, anyway. And I'll be picking up Fire Emblem Engage next month. <laughs> Shoot, no one who I meant. Oh, I can't pick it up either, mainly because I don't own the console. Oh, yeah, that's a good reason. Okay, zero damage. Uh, are you still there, Soup? Uh, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing okay. Work feels manageable today so far. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, I'm gonna feel bad if you're working Christmas Eve, though. <laughs> also, for... Those that celebrate happen second happy second night of Hanukkah. Oh, that's sweet. Ugh. Come on, did that get tangled up again? Yep, it kinda did. But I think I got undone without having to unplug the headphones this time. On my, I'm on my ritual end of year vacation ritual in that I can think of several things I'd rather be doing on my birthday than coming to the office. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Is today your birthday? If so, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, tomorrow. Alright. Well, in case, in case I don't see you tomorrow, then happy early birthday. Which I... Probably won't because I probably won't be streaming. I won't be streaming tomorrow night. I'll be going to a, a Christmas dinner where my mom's staying. <laughs> I'm the same way on my birthday. I'm sure a lot of people are. Oh well, have fun tomorrow. Thanks. I'll pro I think I'm going in at about 4 or 4.30 is when I'll be picked up. <laughs> Which, as you know, is about an hour before. Hour or half an hour before I start my stream. So, yeah. Like I said, we just won't... I'll be streaming tomorrow. Okay, I need to go sh this way. What is it, Sammy? That's that. Let's move out. Okay. 
Okay, we're back in Ruan. And obviously I can't take the landing port. Let's... Do I need to... No, I don't need to go to the inn. Uh, I do need to go to the guild to return in these two quests, though. <laughs> Hey, good work. Sounds like things were pretty tough over at the school. I guess I should have expected it, but you took care of it all, no problem. <laughs> You're welcome. We couldn't have done it without your quick response, though, Sh though, Jean. She's right. It was thanks to Karna and the others that we were able to break in, essentially. <laughs> That's my job, after all. Anyways, I'm just relieved things turned out alright. Of course, with the Orwell Blackout still a thing, we could hardly relax. Yeah, the Society might still be planning something. We need to be careful as we go forward from here. Definitely. Well, take care of yourselves, okay? Oh, right, and right, right. Uh, about the case of the Academy, I went ahead and put together the paperwork for it. If you want to collect your award, you'll need to formally report, it, report in. Ah, oh, yeah. Thanks, Sean. Well then, if you'll pardon us. Yeah, I've got other jobs to report in, too. Report results for the occupation of Genus. 10,000 Mira and 8 BP. Current rank is Bracer B++. Class. Good work. Seems like you safely achieved your goal. If you haven't... I thought I had other... Did I already turn in all the other ones I had? Oh, I sure did. Alright. Uh, I thought I still had other ones too, but guess not. Okay, now, as I said, I can't fly there because of the orbital outage. Hey there, Estelle! <coughs> I'm sure you know already, but you gotta take a boat to get to the South Block. Ugh, man, it's tough being a guide. I mean, you know, I'm a real nice guy, right? Everyone relies on me, and I just can't turn them down. Okay, do I need to take. Is that the way I need to go? Hang on a minute. Oh no. Uh, yeah, that is the way I need to go. Alright. Well, are you gonna take me there or not? Oh, right. I can't. Uh, let's see. I need to... Dang it, I'm trying to remember how to get there. Is it down here? Nope. Okay. Maybe it's this way then. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is where it is. I thought this was the way there. Yeah, this is it. There's a line forming behind you, so please hurry and get on the boat. I 
And there's also a line here. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, now... Wait a minute. Okay, I see where I need to go. Okay, yep, this is where I need this is the way I need to go. Alright. So what games have you been playing recently, Ashi?
Holy crap! Blast it all, it's completely dark. I never realized how dark it'd get down here without the lights. Ah, oh, it's scary! The only hope we'd have of navigating down here would be night vision goggles. If we don't have any, we should check around town in the general goods store or something. Yeah, good idea. One way or another, probably best to find a way to see it before going forward. I think I have some already, though. Uh, let's see... Where should I put them on? Um... Let's put them on Shara. Actually, no, I'll put them on Estelle. I hope I'm just supposed to be following this path to get out. <laughs> Estelle's gonna have to be the one to fight down here then. Orbital energy appears to be shut down. It means I can't save there. Okay, there's another enemy. Oh, this. Oh, okay, fine.
that point. Let's move out. Okay, made it out. Holy! I didn't quite expect it to be this dark. I hope everyone here is okay. Speaking of which, the elevator will be dead, won't it? Definitely. We'll have to make use of the stairs if we want to go to other floors. Okay, now we're in Zaius. And we actually do have to walk down the escalator for once. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Ah, <sighs> better than I expected. Oh, come on, Kilika! Were you seriously guessing that we'd be coming by? That floating city is the source of our current troubles, no? If you cannot reach it directly, the most logical course of action is to ensure the various guild branches are alright. I, uh, yeah, that's logical. She does have a point. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> that's Kilika! Small talk aside, you can imagine how things have been here. Zeus is practically built on a culture of ornament worship at this point. Losing them is a shock to say the least. Chief Murdoch has been trying his best, but the citizens remain as panicked as ever. I was afraid of that. I hope he's okay. It'd be nice if we could help Mr. Murdoch out, but I don't know if we can. I'm sure he'd appreciate the company for a moment, if nothing else. The other problem, the other major problem facing the city is the Caldia Tunnel. With over lighting non functional, Passage through it has become much harder. No kidding. We came through them on the way here. You can barely see in front of you of yourself as things stand. It is very dangerous. There's more. The water pump at Elmo is currently non-functional, and our hot springs are closed. Aw, oh, nuts. Mrs. Mao must be really sad. That should be everything. Now it's my turn for questions, if you don't mind. What happened after I left the Cornelia Tower? A heck of a lot. Estelle and company explained how the floating city appeared and about the zero field generator. I see. So it is the Aureole. 
It seems this was guaranteed to happen the moment they took the towers. Yes, most likely. When you think about it, heading to the towers is probably a waste of time. It's kind of depressing. You have little time for their guts now. If nothing else, it sounds as though you obtained a far greater understanding of their plans in your visits to the towers. What we must focus on now is putting what we know to use for the future. Kyoka! Would you mind fixing my phone, by the way? Guiding you to a better future will be hard if I can't get in touch after all. <laughs> okay, okay. Well then, Tita, you have the honors. Okay! Choose remember to remove zero field generator from. Well, it's gonna be Estelle, obviously. Estelle removed her zero field generator. Art's now unavailable. Which, yeah, that's gonna suck, but oh well. All done! It should be fine now! Tita flipped a switch on the phone. As I would expect the Professor Russell, he is done well again. Thank you, everyone. This will help tremendously. Ah, nothing to it. I'm glad we could be of assistance. Well then, that's all the phones made functional. We should let Professor Russell and Captain Schwartz know about our success and what's been going on. Receive payment for distribution of the CFGs. Uh, payment in Mira, 6,000. Gain BP, 8. Thank you, everyone. This will help a great deal in keeping up with the fence. Do you need help with anything else? This city lies in the shadow of this fortress, so keeping order will not be difficult. Still, if you could, check the board. And as I intimated earlier, checking on the central factory in Elmo may be wise. Their problems seem to be compounding themselves. We'll do then. We'll keep that in mind. With the phone fixed, you can call the team from a another branch to Zayas. If you wish to call them, select Call Allies and speak in Akilika. Uh, I don't need Tita anymore at this point, right? Ritter Roadway Monster and Trot Plains Monster. Alright. And let's see. The Central Factory and Elmo. Okay. Let's start at the Central Factory. Ugh! Okay. Yeah. My thoughts exactly, Estelle. Whoa! And an immediate call. Also not unexpected. Reza Guild, CS Branch. Yes, I thought you'd be calling. My phone was fixed just moments ago. Yes, that's right. They're here now. They're right here. She's talking about us. It seems so. I wonder what's going on. Hmm, yes. Understood. I will tell them at once. I will contact you later to report on the situation here. Yes, may Adios be with you as well. Um, Kilika? What was that about? That was Elnon at the Grand Cell Bench. It seems Her Majesty the Queen would like to speak with you. The message is to stop at the palace if you visit Grandson. The Queen? Well, that's a bit of a shock. I wonder what she wants. He did not share details. It seemed to be something he did not want to discuss on the phone. Something you can't say over the phone. I get it. Phone calls run the risk of being intercepted. It must be someone's secret then. Elnon made clear the situation is not an emergency, however. Stopping by when you have time will be enough, it seems. Okay, then. We'll try to find some time, then. Okay. So, we need to go to the central factory first. Oh, my braces. Are you okay, Hazel? dark in here. Well, I have a lamp, so I'm okay, but most research activity has been completely suspended. Without opal energy, there's not much we can do, really. Ah. Seems the situation is more serious than we thought. 
Around now, it's when the central factor's power is most needed. The entire staff is working together to resume research as soon as possible. Yeah, if there's anything we can do, just say. Everyone, thank you. I hope we can count on you when the time that time comes. Oh, Estelle and Joshua. And Tina, too. Hehe, <laughs> we're back! Hello, sir. It's been a while. I'm glad to see you're well. I'm glad to see you're back safely. Was the professor's invention of any use? The generator? You pet. It's been a huge help. If anything, the Royal Army is probably more thankful than anyone. Until communications are res were restored, a lot of bases were cut off. I see. So, for now, at least, it's having the intended effect. Yeah, which is good, but... Chief, is the Central Factory okay? I bet... I bet you can't, guys can't really do any research when it's dark like this, huh? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a terrible situation all around. I'm absolutely inundated with requests for help right now. Actually, I'm working on that right now. Tank sounds really rough. If there's anything we can do, we'd be happy to help. Just contact the guild and we'll come right over. Yes, thank you. You all take care, too. It's so dark, I can't even read the titles of the books. Really, how do they even expect me to work? My boss has gone off somewhere. Maybe I should just leave. So is there actually a quest to accept from the Central Factory, or was I just visiting here? Mm -hmm. Oh, bracers. Hey, long time no see. Glad to see you're well. You too, Carl. Sure seems like things are pretty rough around here. Yeah, everything from the lights to the experiment equipment is dead. By the way, what happened to that gunner? You mean Olivier? He went back to his home country. Home country? So, Olivier, was he... Yes, he was from another nation. Huh, that's so. Huh, what a shame. I would have loved to have him take a look at the new model gun. Of course, I know now it's not the time for that. If this phenomenon continues as it is, my research is going to need to be completely redone. <laughs> C Carl! Seems like this situation is really pushing him to the edge. Right now, we're in a situation where all orbits have lost their orbital energy. A case like this happened before, so I tried a logical deduction, but I uh, still don't have a clue. <sighs> Professor Russell might know something, but... I never thought something like this would, or heck, could happen. I'm just glad this happened after the Arsays upgrade evaluation was finished. After all, we can study the data even without orbits. Of course, right now the priority is on comprehending and researching the current phenomenon. From what I've heard, the Arce made a spla safe splashdown. One way or another, that's a relief. I'm thankful from the depths of my heart to the crew who protected that ship. Phew, finally managed to get back. Orbments may not be working, but the greenhouse is safe. Terry's done at least a basic level of work, I guess. Phew, I pray things go well with their RSA. Ray's finally back. He was doing some cooperative research with Russell on the RSA. While I was managing the greenhouse, Ray was researching the leading edge tech. 
damn it, I've gotta step up my game. I'll get results with my research next period. Oh, bracers. And Tita, too. Hi, Dr. Miriam. Haha, <laughs> it's been a while. I'm glad to see you all look well. You too, Dr. Miriam. Well, I mean, aside from all the craziness, craziness going on right now, anyway, I imagine work's pretty tough. Yes, for now I'm checking over our stocks of medical supplies. But we'll be in deep trouble if we don't have medicine when it's needed. Yeah. At the moment, it's not exactly easy to restock with transportation so limited. Indeed. We'll just have to be very conservative in our use of the supplies we do have. So you all be careful, too. If you get hurt really badly and dragged in here, I'll give you an absolute earful. <laughs> we'll be very careful. Radios. What's going on here? It's like the factory chief said, none of the machines are working at all. If only Professor Russell was here for us at a time like this. Well, this phenomenon that's going on is that thing that Professor Russell caused a while back, isn't it? In other words, anything we do while this is going on is basically pointless. <sighs> Maybe I'll go home early today. I came because I heard you could see that object, but I didn't think it would be that big. What has happened in this kingdom? Incredible! That floating object is so big it's mind-blowing. If I knew the distance, I'd be able to estimate its size, but I'll just have to wait for the Royal Army's investigation. Working while something like that is hanging over our heads is ridiculous. I'm sure the world will end before long. To spend my last hours in my workplace is absolutely something I refuse to do. Sorry, but I'm afraid our factory is currently closed for business. None of the equipment we use for machining is working. Alright, oh, of course. Don't worry, though. I think we have a little something to help with that. Huh? What's that? Um, you see... Joshua explained that by using the zero field generator, the factory's functionality could be temporarily restored. Oh, so it's a generator that Professor Russell made. I'd love to give it a spin. Can I try it out? Sure, no problem. Would you help me then, Eric? Haha, <laughs> I'm not much of an assistant compared to you, so go easy on me. On activation, the zero field generator restored power to the factory's tools. Yep, looks like we're back in business, for the moment anyway. Considering the base theory, this is only a temporary fix, huh? Yeah, it won't last long. Yeah, uh, it'll go back to how it was before soon. Gotcha. Anyway, let's get your stuff turned to now while we can, then. If we use that method, she should be able to use the factory like normal. Since she's got the fresh invention, use it as best she can.
Okay, that'll help. Let's see. Okay, like I said, that'll help because it means I got Tita on healing duty now, so that'll definitely help some. Trying to decide where to what to do first. Let's see. Let me look at the two quests I picked up. Uh, da -da -da, Ritter Roadway and Trap Plains. Okay, what goes where? Let me see. Okay, which way path would I take to get to Elmo? Looks like I need to head head to the Trat Plains for now then.
Yeah, as soon as I find the target monster, I think that's where I'm just gonna save and call it a night for tonight. Because I don't know how long that fight will take. <laughs> There we go.
don't know where that target could be then. Is there a third? Nope. Okay, let me see if I can spot it, find it real quick. Trat Plains Monster, here we go. Let's see. Okay, I see where it's at. All right. Well, let me go back and find that real quick. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll just let that go for tonight. I'll fight it next time. What am I going to have to do for this mission? Let me see. Yeah, it looks like this will take a while, so... Uh, yeah, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream for tonight. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, you can follow my YouTube channel. Link below to see my past streams, as well as my Twitter to be notified when I go live for further announcements. And, as I said earlier, I will not be streaming tomorrow night because I'll be going to have Christmas dinner where my mom is staying. So... I'll be back on Wednesday to continue playing this. So, hope you all have a great night and also a good day tomorrow. And if you stick around, we'll drop a raid. Uh, let me go and close this. And let's see, who are we going to raid tonight? I think I'll just go ahead and uh, raid Xion again tonight. So, I hope you'll stick around. And he's currently playing Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So, I hope you'll stick around for that. And I will see you all. I'll see you all on Wednesday. And have a, so, have a good night. And take care, everyone. Bye.